I accidentally shot, so I don't know if that, like, influenced anything, but I hope it didn't. Look, why do these guys, the O'Neills, want you dead anyway? There was a deal. A contract to end all contracts. Serious multinational stuff. I was this close! And they stole it off me. Ho -ho hold up. If they stole your business, why do they want you dead? Wow! What's with all the questions? Can't you just take my side for once? Hey, I'm coming along for the ride, ain't I? Yeah, but I sense your heart ain't in it. <laughs> now I'm lucky my heart ain't in a pie on your kitchen table. Always with the quips. You're such a depressing cynic. Oh, poor Trevor. I'm sorry I'm a human being with thoughts and feelings and emotions. Wait a second. I remember this chopper. We used this to break into the IAA building. You stole it from the FIB? <laughs> Not so. I took it in lieu of payment. There was a rifle on board, too, so if your panties aren't all in a twist over stolen office supplies, can you please use it to scan the forest for the O'Neills? Oh, I'm your hitman now. I'm not gonna force you, Michael. Hey, hey, we here on the ground. Them hick dudes in the woods. All right. That model's fitted with a thermal scope. Holy Look shit! Their heat signatures. Well, it has to be those guys. No, it's not. Fuck. Where are you? Check Take out the, the river. river. They might be trying to float out of here. Why well, would you look at that? Out. Okay, I got a guy in the water. Oh, you're so fucked, and you know it now. I'm looking around. You never know, he could be trying to hide between all these people. Ah, these goddamn deer, I mean. Shit, okay. What about up there? Is that one? I don't think so. Dead anyways. <laughs> and this guy? Hey! Oh wait, that's fucking Francis. Francis, I almost shot your ass. <laughs> that would have been awkward. How come they're not all in the river? We gotta well, keep looking. I am looking, man. I don't know where the hell they went. I don't see anybody running. It's just a bunch of deers, elks, does. It's sad seeing you miss like this, Michael. I'm shooting to fucking scare off the goddamn deers and elks. They gotta be a lot closer then. I already scanned these ones though. You know, I'm probably like missing. Wait. What? What? Wait, what was that? Did you see that? There's a dude. There was a. There was a guy. We ain't found him yet. I. I got spooked. Oh yeah. I don't know where the last one is. Check the hill. Which hill? I I see to the right, there. right. That guy all the way up there? Ah, it's an animal. I'll keep checking. This guy, nope. Hey, what about this dude? I think I see someone. All right, left, 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 left. Mark, there's something. Oh Fuck. shit! Let's do this, little homie. Fire! Alright! Follow shop! Go top! Him down, Frank. We're about to get shot out of the sky here! We're going! We're using our dog senses! I can't do anything, like, to actually control Chop. But it means I can laze out while we try to see where Chop is going. I don't know why Chop gonna be in, you know, been trying to find them anyways. Oh. Cap, I got your back. Just let me know. Oh shit. This water is cold as a motherfucker. What do I what gun do I have anyways? Oh shit. The combat MG. What the, what does that swap out with? The micro SMG? Oh damn! You fucking replaced the SMGs with the micro S yeah, or 
with the SMGs man. with a heavy machine gun? That's just crazy. Alright! Well, let's see how far your uh, shit talking rocket shooting takes you! Uh, Bitch! Alright! Stay there! We'll come down and pick you up! Okay. I was, gonna, I, was gonna, I was gonna say, let me go swap to Trevor. Oh, Frankie! How you doing down here, pal? All right, now that the angry hillbillies with rockets are dead, is there anyone else we should worry about trying to kill you? Oh, sure. Yeah, there's some bikers, the Chinese, Madrezo's people, but whatever. Don't act like you're so popular. <laughs> Most of those people are the same people that we should have been, you know, on our side. Why, why do we have to piss off the Chinese? Woof. Aw, are we gonna get the dog on there too? Aw. That's right, scary. That dog's gonna fall off and die. Like, there's nothing holding him down. Look at him. We're like, pitching all over the place. Oh yeah, you can afford a runway, but you can't afford to move out of that corrugated metal death shack. So how you guys doing? Well, we're alive. Hey, good work down there. I'm the one who says thank you, he was helping me. Thank you, Franklin. Yeah, it's cool, homie. And thank you, Chop. Hey, <laughs> are you gonna tell us exactly what we were helping with? I know you said these guys stole some business, but that doesn't really explain why they wanted you dead. After they stole the contract. Nope, you didn't. Ugh. I went to their farm and I killed a lot of them and then I blew it up. Killed a lot of them? Yes! I think that was Elwood, Walton, and Wynn who we killed just then. I killed Ernie, Earl, Dale, Doyle, Daryl, Dalton, Don, and a few other guys when I blew up the farm. So, maybe this is kind of a revenge thing. I don't know. Let's not forget that I'm the wrong party here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he, they stole our business, so we killed them. We even convinced the Chinese to let us, you know, do anything with them. Ah, oh, well. Bop! Gonna feel good, huh? Helping a friend in need? Come on, Chop. Come on. Oh, yeah. Taking out some hillbilly crank dealers on a blood feud. That's what I live for. Hey, Trev, man, we gonna bar this and head back to town. Sure. Come on, Michael, man. I'll drop your ass off on the way back. Chop, get in. See you back at Casa Phillips, Mike. Yeah, thanks for the warning. <laughs> All right, so what are we gonna be doing with Trevor, then? Since he wants to stay around this area. Ah, the heist. Right. I can do with that. Hold up. I'm just gonna go ahead and fly my helicopter over there. Because it's a lot faster just fly thing. Rather than drive, or take a taxi. Although, since this doesn't have any weaponry, that's a little shame. Someone told me that, um, even if I had kept that jet... Uh, even if I had gotten that jet... It probably would've disappeared... When I parked at the hangar? I don't know if that's true? But if it is, you that makes me sad. Okay! There you go! Diverted the course straight to the ground! Ah, what assholes. Anyways, what do we got going on over here? Are they going to the left or the right? Oh, looks like they're going to the right. The hardware must not be destroyed. You got it. Ah, oh, damn. Oh, that didn't go as well as I was hoping. We're gonna try that again. <laughs> I wanted to land in front of them to stop the convoy. When said I hopped out, took like five to ten seconds to even fucking like get back up for me landing hardcore, and my helicopter didn't block him. So, yeah. Ugh. Howdy. Let's see what happens.
when I throw sticky bombs on your faces, bitch! Boom! The military hardware shouldn't be destroyed. But that don't mean I don't have to kill your asses. <laughs> oh yeah! Alright, that was fun. Now to drive off. Yeah, I know, yo! Oh, my helicopter got blown up. And then the dude got out and got himself burnt. That's your own fault, alright? You could have gotten away from the fire. Uh, mostly. I like how, without the music, you got this kind of like, dramatic ambience. Like, ah. But then you do this. And everything just better in life, right? It's like Fallout. Did I already mention that? No, I said that in Saints Row, but not here. Okay, well, it's like Fallout, where you can listen to music all the time, it's all nice no matter what. Or you can turn off the radio. And sometimes be treated to nice ambience. Because I think, I think Grand Theft Auto 5 is... I think I read an article saying that this is the first game that actually has its own original soundtrack in the series. Everything else was pretty much just, you know, whatever. But I, is that true? I don't know. Grand Theft Auto 4 had its own theme thing. I mean, yeah, okay, but maybe actually, like, like GTA 5 has a full-on soundtrack rather than just, like, one-off things. I don't know. Someone will confirm it or deny it, but the good news is hopefully they don't just insult me for not knowing. Not knowing things doesn't make me dumb. Oh. And... Successful getaway. Now, besides the fact that I broke my fence. Whew. Oh, we did it. Yeah, I, I, I did it. Headhunter. Sticky strategist. I probably could, or sticky strategist. I probably could, like, stuck some sticky bombs and then blown them up at convenient little points. Yeah, it would have been a little bit better than me just charging straight into there, but, ah, uh, well. Lester the molester, bro. We got ourselves some military hardware. It's parked out back in my office. All right. We might be ready to move on this thing. Meet me up in the lab. Oh. Okay, ready? You sure about that? I mean, we could do... Some other stuff. Yeah, there's like a Michael mission or something. Or is it a Madrezo mission? Let's see. Uh... Minutemen. Minutemen. Oh, okay. No, I'm good. I don't want to listen to this. We're getting out. Lester! We're not gonna call you THE Molester. Let's see what's going on. Really should be buying armor before these fucking missions. Seriously, but then I'd have to buy it for everybody individually, and that'd just be weird. It's- it's- it's not inappropriate! It's- It's another one of your fucking disasters! That's what it is! First you take a hostage, against my advice, and then you start some kind of crazy high school romance with her? Are you nuts? She's... She's a 60-year-old housewife! Ah, she's 57! And she thinks that I'm mature. Yeah, well, let me tell you something. 30 years of marriage to the world's angriest mob boss ah. would make anyone insane. You're not making my situation any easier. Oh, there's a surprise. I knew it would become about you. I miss my family. Oh, you're full of shit. All you ever did was ignore them, and now that they're gone, you miss them! Fucking incredible. I'll tell you what's incredible, fucking incredible, hey! you mother- Hey! Why? No! You got me out here. You wrote me into your crazy world of bullshit. If it was lies, new age shit, and arguments about how good life used to be, I could have stayed my ass in Los Santos. Hello, Franklin. What's up? All right. <laughs> Here's the shot. Lester. We're going to Palato Bay, and we're going to do this thing. Any questions? Comments? Yeah. I miss Brad. That crazy motherfucker was with us now. He would have loved this. Instead, he's got to enjoy himself molesting white-collar criminals in a federal penitentiary. Thanks for sharing. Anybody else? What about me? You'll be waiting for them by the river, handling the getaway. All right. Now, these three go in. You grab the tape. <laughs> 
your rendezvous with you, and you get out of there. Is that a work for everyone? Great, let's go. Oh, Packy, come on! I wish he would have said something. He could have had so much to contribute. It's not like he's a DLC a character. Bay. Let's hit this shit. All right. I'm sure he'll have something to say during the mission. And he's a 12% cut, so I'm pretty sure he won't be, you know, dumb. You and get himself killed. Before, yeah, I was the driver on the job my boy Lamar pulled. Guess it's the same kind of shit we doing now, right? Nice, bro. What was the take? Shit, I don't know, man. I can't remember. Come on. Everyone remembers their first score. Shit, not me. Huh? Mikey, bro, what was your first bank score? 88, outskirts of Carcer City. Took a small franchise for 10G. Yeah, things were easier back then. Yeah, 25 years ago. Jesus! Good morning. You, generic goon! What was your first bank score? You know what? My first job ain't that interesting. I think I was spotting for my brother's scores in junior high. What is interesting is my biggest job. The Bank of Liberty City. Oh, hey! Shit. Yeah. I heard you were part of the crew that took that down. I ran the crew. It was me, my brother Derek, God rest his soul, my pal Michael, God rest his soul, and another boy, Nico, who's probably dead too. Hey, They're no! Must have been jinxed, huh? All I know is I live to tell the tale. We went in, my pal Michael gets shot. I take down the hero who did it, then we blow the vault, take the money, and meet half the LCPD coming out. The cops are outside, they're in the street, down the alleys, they're in the subway. We just keep moving and shooting, moving and shooting. Climbed out the subway, found a car, and we were away. Sounds like you were the right guy to bring along on this. Let's just hope we ain't jinxed as well. <laughs> hey, your turn to share, kid. I told you I don't remember the details, man. Leave him alone, Trevor. This is an important moment, Michael. Here we are, on our way to almost certain death. Bonding, pouring our hearts out, and this guy is sitting here, soaking it up and giving nothing in return. Hey, if he don't remember... If he don't remember, I'm supposed to trust this man with my life, and he don't trust me with the details of his first bank job? Well, how about you? Why don't you share with the group? I'm here, I'll back the facts. The check's cash place? I went in, took him for eight grand, walked out. Ah. It was a bit more complicated than that, though, wasn't it, T? Maybe I knew the guy. Maybe he ID'd me. Maybe you did six months. Maybe I was out in four, and that, children, is why we don't leave witnesses. That, children, is why you don't rob people that you know. <laughs> yeah. Franklin, if you share. Yeah, come on, kid. It can't be worse than Trevor's. All right, man, shit. Okay. The score was like two stacks, man. Two G? Take home on your first gig? Fuck, that ain't bad, man. Man, the whole score was two stacks. Only I didn't see none of that shit. Die pack went off, homie. Money was useless, then. you? Die pack? <laughs> you amateur! I knew I shouldn't have told you shit. Hey, Franklin, we all gotta start somewhere. Last time I tell your ass something. Oh, Aw, come on, Franklin! <laughs> Don't be so cold, man. Learn to laugh at yourself. You're in danger of turning into this man. Who, me? Yeah, you. Wouldn't laugh, wouldn't hang out. Ugh, I've got my work, I've got my life. I never the two shall meet. If we're risking our asses, we gotta be family. How about that, die pack? Man, fuck you, sense of humor. Hey, let's just <laughs> do this thing, all right? I really like Packy telling the story. Because even though I never finished GTA 4, one day I might, you know. That's a let's play I am interested in doing. I've just kind of been waiting for the uh, Ice Enhancer or IC Enhancer mod to be finished because it makes the game look fucking awesome. And every time I'm about to play it, it gets updated. But it was really cool listening to the story again. Get ready because we're going to want to go ASAP. I'm going to get away, man. I'll do it. Yeah, because the, the bank mission in Grand Theft Auto 4 was pretty memorable, especially because I kept dying on it. I already said this, but yeah, that one was frustrating, and I guess, yeah, it kind of tells the tale a lot more right, properly. Know where you gotta be? I got it down. I'll bring a die pack just for you. 
He should have stolen more money than that. Or stolen from a better bank. 